Layfieldreport.com. Got a new podcast up, videos, all your news. Sign up for the newsletter. Keep up with the seven summits. I was on a mountain the last couple weeks in Russia, and my complexion was beginning to look a lot like Shemus. So last couple days here in Bermuda, I spent some time in the sun. As you can see, got a tad bit sunburned. But today I was indoors because I was watching my DVR tape of Monday Night Raw. People ask me all the time, do you keep up with WWE? And the answer is yes. And so I thought I would give some thoughts. The Wrestling God Recap. First of all, the crazy chick angle. This hot chick AJ. Really like AJ. But remember, I broke in with the crazy chicks. We had Luna Vachon. We had Sherry Martell. We even had Jerry and Pat, who weren't crazy, but were definitely ugly chicks. And this proposal by Daniel Bryan to AJ, about as fake and phony as Billy and Chuck. Everybody knew Billy and Chuck weren't going to get married. After all, Billy was secretly wed to Road Dog backstage. Oh, you didn't know? You better call somebody. Joking. Billy, I love you. Don't get mad. Billy gets mad. He's got a bad temper. One of the greatest tag teams of all time, the New Age Outlaws, as responsible for the Attitude Era as anybody else during that era. Two great guys. Love them both. CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. What's going to happen? I think they got great chemistry. It reminds me a lot of Davey Boy and Bret Hart, who just were able to put phenomenal matches together. They had a match in Berlin one time on Monday Night Raw. It was just outstanding I think that's what happens this Sunday in the WWE Championship. In the World Championship, there's a guy that reminds me a lot of me. <laughs> Good looking, rich, fancy cars. Sorry, Sheamus, but I got to go with my boy, Alberto Del Rio. Guy who doesn't remind me of me is Ryback. People ask me, is that clothesline very similar to yours? And actually, it's not. It's more similar to Stan Hansen. See, Stan Hansen just knocked your head off. Just turned around. It was like getting hit with a left hook by Joe Frazier. Just knocked your head off. That's what that reminds me of. Does Ryback make it? I don't know. He's got the keys to the car. He's got the looks. But it's hard to get from that huge monster push to that monster level. Maybe he does. I certainly hope he does. Vader made it. Probably the best pure monster back in the early 90s. You've got your monster with Kane. you got your giant with Big Show. But just a pure monster. Vader was off the charts in the early 90s. That's where I see Ryback going. And I certainly hope that he ends up going that way. Money in the bank. John Cena has done the same thing since the Salt the Swat. The Bambino called his shot in the 1932 World Series. People wonder, did Babe Ruth really mean to call that shot? What John Cena did, there is no doubt about. He has called his shot. He says he's going to win money in the bank. That's going to be a fun match to watch. And finally, the anonymous general manager, Hornswoggle. St Hornswoggle once pulled up to a parking lot. And I was there, and I saw the parking attendant, and Hornswoggle was trying to give him his keys. And the guy was trying to figure out how Hornswoggle was driving. And he was looking around, and finally Hornswoggle looked up at him and says, Excuse me, I'm not happy. And the guy looked down and says, I'm sorry, which one are you, little fella? As a general manager, I would say that Hornswoggle is a very good leprechaun. And Michael Cole, I said finally, I'm going to add one bonus. Michael Cole reminds me a lot of Bobby the Brain Heenan, not because he's witty or because he's smart, but because he's weasel. And I should know that because I had to do commentary beside him for a full year. There you have it, your Wrestling God recap, your preview for Money in the Bank, LayfieldReport.com. Go on there, sign up, get all your news. There you have it.